over into this area here in um, some part of Tennessee up here. I'm um, headed in almost 24 or 40 right now. And I'm um, going to go ahead and plug in and see what's going on with this. So um, let's get into it. All was going good. I mean, the truck's still running fine and all, but and ironically, I stopped and got deaf about two hours ago. So I'm curious to see what this is going to show now. So guys, I got improper deaf quality on here. If I can get back to it, hang on. Here we go. Improper deaf quality. And I went to a mom and pops because I was really low on deaf. And now, all of a sudden, I got a deaf light. And also, my number one injector is starting to act up. So, um, <laughs> I got a feeling this tour is going to be cut short once I deliver, if I can make it to deliver. I'm going to keep pushing. I mean, the, the deaf quality I probably can get over. Um, but this injector thing, I'm not sure about how this is going to play out. It rains, man. It rains. What are we gonna do? Later. All right, so we got the deaf light off. Back to running nice and smooth for the time being. Um, I had just literally stopped about an hour and a half before that light came off, and all I did was get deaf. And I went to a mom and pops and it looked at rinky dink and um, I think I they definitely gave me a bad shot of uh, death so <clears throat> lesson learned moving forward man um, I won't definitely be dealing with those kind of places anymore um, but yeah I'm gonna have to still get that injector addressed when I get back although the truck has been running great it's been running like a sewing machine since you know that incident but um i'm gonna go ahead and just keep it moving i got about um 400 miles or so out to i met uh, my delivery in texas so it's about six hours six and a half hours i'm getting ready to